guys, I'm Kamatra and today I want to have some talks with a legendary singer from Hong Kong that has a legend hit song called Shanghai Beach. The one and only Francis Yu. Oh, Kamatra. Let's thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to meet you personally. Well, it's my pleasure because you're a very talented writer. Oh my god, thank you so much <laughs> for that. So for your information, guys, uh, Francis has covered my single, Silence, and it is such a huge honor for me because, you know, a legend like you covered my debut single. So yeah, I'm really flattered and, exi and excited. I also feel really thankful for that. It means the world to me. Thank oh. you, Francis. Well, it means the world to me because it is a beautiful melody. Oh, really? And as soon as I heard it, I knew it's something I wanted to do. And I'm very glad that uh, my producer, Michael, in Hong Kong was able to get it produced in such a way that it becomes a very evocative song to try and encourage the younger people to face difficulties in their life, to come through and realize that their life is very precious because it all happened towards the end of the pandemic. So I think it is the right thing to do. Yeah. And um, my friends all like the song very much and I personally oh, really? love it. Yes. Oh my so God. Uh, when I do my concert later in the year, I will feature that song. Oh my God, that's so nice to hear. Oh my God, <laughs> I feel so honored again. Okay, so Francis, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my first time doing this kind of interview. I've never done this before. But you know, I'm still going to try my best to <laughs> oh, ask you're doing these very questions well. I've prepared. Before. No, 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 don't be nervous. We just have a little chit chat. All right, <laughs> so how are you today? You look great, you look great. I'm very well. Um, I just came from Sydney last night. Last night. Um, I didn't realize there was a three-hour time difference, so I was awake this morning before six. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm, I'm awake so early. But luckily, um, we've had breakfast, so I've been down to check out the pool, check out the gym. So tomorrow morning, if I wake up early, I will go to the gym or go <laughs> to the pool. That will keep myself happy. Yeah. Um I've been keeping very well. I live in Sydney now, oh. uh, but I'm on my way uh, to Hong Kong. I have two concerts in Hong Kong when I get back later this week. Yeah. All right. Well, I had was hoping to meet you because um, I was very interested in your songwriting. Oh my God. And um, for someone so young, Silence was a song that has so much pain. And I think the young people appreciate that because they often feel that they are not listened to. <laughs> so I think you're very, very talented and you shouldn't give up. You should keep writing. Okay, I promise I won't give up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, is there any special event in Jakarta that we could come here well, in Indonesia? I'm very, very fortunate. There is a uh, couple who are celebrating their 50, 52nd wedding anniversary. Okay. And when they were young, they were listening to my songs. So they wanted to make it a special occasion. So they have a party tonight and they've hired a very big orchestra. Tonight? Tonight. Okay. Uh, tomorrow night, sorry. Oh, tomorrow and night. then I'm come, I've been flown in to sing for them. And I think this is so romantic. So. Yeah, it must be really romantic. Yeah. So I'm going to ask uh, a few of you cast questions. Uh, the first question is, what's your opinion about Indonesia? I'm, I'm curious about this. Well, I've been coming to Indonesia. Oh, wow. The first time I came here was in 1978, I think, well before you were born. I was singing in um, the Hotel Indonesia. Um, they had a cabaret room at the top floor called Nirwana Room. And it was on Jalan Tamarin. I used to come and sing there for one month. And I would um, I sing Monday to Saturday and then Sunday I have a day off and I would go out and you know, see Jakarta, uh, drive out into the country. And also, um, I always have an interest to learn something local. So I learned to sing Widuri. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> Widuri and Bangan Solo. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. So I it's one of my favorite songs and I will sing it tomorrow night too. It was remarkable, mm. really. Like, oh my God, it was great. <laughs> but now each time, I, last time I came here was 10 years ago. Each time I come, Jakarta has a different city line, you know. Um, it's completely modernized now. And the yeah. uh, only thing I worry a little bit about is the pollution. But yeah. with, as with any major city in the world, if there's no rain, there's no wind, uh, there's so much traffic, the pollution has to happen. So have you ever visited maybe Indonesia's tourist action? Attraction? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. Um, I've been to uh, Bali, 
I actually stayed up in the in Handara, which is the um, vo volcanic crater, up in the hills. And it was quite amazing. Uh, we arrived at night and driving up and you could see people sleeping near the fire. And I kept thinking, gosh, it's, is it very cold out there? And of course, when I got up there, because it's so high, it yeah. is actually cold. But then it rains in the night. And then the next morning, the whole ground is dry already. So to me, that was totally fascinating. And because of the rain and the land being so fertile, everything is so green. So I enjoyed playing golf up there. I had a wonderful holiday. Okay, the question is now, um, what do you like the most about Indonesia? Maybe the food, the oh, culture, I love the, food. the music. What do you like the most? I love the food and I love the music. I particularly like the sound of the gamelan. Gamelan. Um, and my uh, arranger in Hong Kong has put that sound into a few songs for me and it, it um, on some work that I did before, and I often, I often sing those songs, and I all whenever the the intro plays, and I will remember Bali, and then um, I've also been to um, another volcano. Actually, uh, mm. I sailed down. Oh, we actually went on little ponies and and went up to Bromo. Mount Bromo. Bromo. Yes. It took two two and a half hours on a little pony, and it was a bit <laughs> sore on the bottom when you get there. Yeah. But to see the sunrise is beautiful. And it was really beautiful. It is I've beautiful. Been there. Yeah, and then they serve you this cup of really strong coffee, <laughs> and you needed it because you haven't slept all night. But it's worth it. It's I worth it. that's one of the memorable experiences I have here. Okay, let's say you have to choose between music and the food. What would you choose? Um, well, I think primarily uh, the, music would, the music would come easily. Right. But the food, I also like. Um, there's some unusual food. I've eaten ikan mas here. Ikan mas, yeah. And I also like uh, a lot of curries. Curry. The rendang. And uh, at home, when I make a curry, I would serve it a little bit in the Dutch way. I would have all the condiments, you know, the, the chutney, the yogurt. Uh, I would do all of that, the nuts. and yeah. <laughs> Because that's... In the old days when we used to come, some of our uh, expat friends here, that, that's how they served the curry. So I learned to do it like that. And I, I still enjoy it. Mm. Maybe you should someday try our traditional and our street food because we have a lot of variety. Oh, from sure. Yes. Street, sweet, spicy, savory, mm. salty, bitter, sour. I think we have a lot of variety. Mm. Like, have you ever tried one? Uh, not, not so much as street food, but I certainly have tried some of the sweets. Sweet. And I find it very sweet. But the, what... I was just talking to my husband this morning. I asked him if he remember how we used to go on a Sunday when it's a, a, a rest day to go to a market to buy these fantastic avocados. Okay. They were huge and they were so creamy. I would cut up and then we each have half and that's a whole meal. Okay. And I'm pretty sure they still have those here. It's really, really unforgettable. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. That's interesting.